Alright guys, so we are back again, looking at the demographic screen, uh, playing as the Ottomans, and we're still in one for pretty much everything. Uh, we're in ninth for approval. We're almost the worst. In fact, we kind of are the worst. Uh, we're tied for the last place. Um, that's not good. It would be a lot worse if we were playing on a higher difficulty, um, but I'll show you what this corresponds to. Uh, it's because our happiness is slow, so low. We only have three happiness for the Empire. Um, and that is coming... I mean, we're getting plus 12 just from our difficulty level. If we were on a higher difficulty, um, we would already be in the negative here. So, But all of our happiness is from the total number of cities and the total amount of population. So there's not too much we can do about that other than try to do things to make them happy. So... I think when some of these cities finish building what they're working on, we should focus on Colosseums, uh, which will probably make them a little bit happier. Uh, let's go ahead and hit next turn and go from there. Now we're going to get Theology next turn, which is nice, um, but you know what? We probably want to check on this as well. Let's see, save for Great Prophet. Purchase missionary. What does Inquisitors do? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's go with Cathedrals and see what that does. Uh, use faith to purchase Cathedrals. Plus one faith, plus one culture, plus one happiness. So that's actually a pretty decent uh, buff. We might want to try to do missionaries though only so so that we can spread the faith um, because we get gold for every four followers of, of this religion even if they aren't ours so let's do missionaries instead uh, just to kind of get it spreading around um, there's a barbarian up there I'm not too worried about them it's pretty far away from our base That was literally all the turns for that. Oh, you know what? It was still waiting for a... Um, that was still part of the last turn, so... Okay. I'm waiting for city-states to take their turn. Apparently, they had a lot to do. Barbarians didn't do much that turn. Three things unnecessary for the salvation of man. Okay, so we got theology, so we're gonna need to. Okay, we got the composite bowman there. Uh, let's see. We want a coliseum here because that will give us plus two happiness, uh, or t uh, a circus will give us plus two happiness as well, and takes less time to build and there's not a... let's see, the Colosseum has a maintenance cost of 1, the Circus has a maintenance cost of 0, but you can only build the Circus if there are horses nearby, right? Horses or ivory. And I honestly do not see either for this place, so I'm not real sure why they are able to do that, unless they're counting that as nearby. But let's do it anyways. So, circus. Choose research. Open the technology tree and see. Um, I think we want to go with long swordsmen, honestly. I mean, these this this would be nice, but not really required right now. Uh, long swordsmen. We could use them. I mean, we've had that one that we. Uh, got a couple of episodes ago uh, roaming around for a bit, so why not just upgrade all of our swordsmen to that? Uh, let's see. At some point, we're gonna have to kill these ships. Um, maybe if they keep being stupid and, you know, just camping that border and not doing anything, we'll be able to hit them with the city, but. Okay, so that swordsman is done. Let's keep him on alert. Composite Bowman is done. 
we're going to have him actually move over here and handle these ships. And we need to kind of move these guys in order that way. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We want them to just move along. Wait. You can't move there, of course, because of their troops. You stay there just in case. Um, you can't really do anything to him, so I guess just move right there. And let's just using our boats to kind of do some exploration. Iron, some more barbarians. So, some missionary has been purchased in Istanbul. Interesting. Um, not sh quite sure what the um, missionary does. I'm sure he spreads religion. I'm not sure how it really works, though. So, I guess we'll see in a minute. Uh, you keep moving up here. He's out of move right now, so let's just give it a second. Ah, interesting. Met a new guy. He seems to be <laughs> pretty unfriendly, but whatever. Uh, goodbye. I'm not sure really where he is on the map. We probably just ran into one of his troops. Interesting. So we did complete the road to them, but now we are no longer friendly with them. But now we're allies with them, so... <laughs> good, I guess? Yeah, good. Alright. You're no longer friends, but you also connected the road, and now you're allies. So... Fantastic, that all worked out. Uh, we got some cities that grew. Go ahead and attack that boat. Good. You guys can attack that boat, get some free XP. Alright, good. Okay, so now that they've completed that road, let's see if we can get a actual road going to our base, which would be nice, and then do some uh, improvements. Keep moving our settler convoy along. These guys will be able to move into that position. I'm going to have these guys move down here just to make sure. Okay, good. There's nothing there. Um, I'm going to actually have these guys just sit on alert here. Because if we move them away, we know a barbarian camp can spawn there. So Sometimes, until you can get the right amount of you know base expansion, you just kind of... Ooh, this is an interesting opportunity. Capture chance if sunk, 67%. So that's that whole um, Ottoman perk coming into play there. So maybe next turn we can kind of explore that and maybe get ourselves a free ship, which would be awesome. Okay, so we've got the mine up and running here. Um, what do we want to do next? Probably wouldn't be a terrible thing to have a road that connects like this. I know it costs money to build roads, but I just think for military use, that would definitely be a nice thing. So, I might manually build that. And I'm just having these guys patrol up here because I don't want... Um, 
any barbarian spawning, especially near our settlers, so. Okay, so our missionary, what can he do? Spread religion. Convert some of the citizens of the nearby city to the unit's religion. Okay, so let's go over here and try to spread our religion to Wittenberg. See how that goes. Oh, there's already two followers. Hmm. So it's already kind of spreading, but we'll see. Okay, so now we want to do our route up to here. And then we can start getting these resources, because that monument should be done soon. It should start expanding borders. So it should all work out in a pretty timely fashion. Well. Sure, why not? Actually, maybe we'll try to talk to him next turn and see if he has anything he wants to trade that can boost our happiness. We're already up to 10, so I think we're okay, but probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, what the fuck is it? Let's see, trade. You have pretty much nothing, but would you like truffles? Because... You'll give me five iron. Now I'll tell you why I'm not going to do this deal. Because if we take five iron from him and then we build the max number of units that we could support with all that iron, and then the 30 turns expires, then we're out five iron. So we'll have a negative supply of iron and some of our units that require iron will not function properly. So let's see if he'll just give me some flat gold. Um, hmm. can't do gold per turn because he's losing gold. And we need a declaration of friendship. Um, let's do... Discuss. Minuterish. Okay, La. so we won't do that yet, so... That's alright. We'll make it happen. Um, let's see... Close that. Choose production. Finish the workshop. Let's look at some wonders here. Um, that would give us plus four culture, which would be amazing. Writer's Guild provides one great person point towards a great writer. Add up to two specialists to the building to gain culture and increase the rate of great writer acquisition. For four turns, I'm going to guess that that's um, kind of like the National College. It's not gonna. It's not a world wonder. Let's see. Must be built in a holy city. Three free missionaries appear. We definitely want this. That is really good. Uh, requires piety. All missionaries born in the city can spread religion three times. Provides a free mosque. We really, really want that too. So I think I want to get this first, and then that way, if we get these three free missionaries they can spread each of their religion three times. So essentially we'd be getting nine free missionaries. So let's do this. Plus since that's our capital, all of our missionaries should spawn there anyways. Let's see, we got the settler here. Uh, let's work on a temple. Uh, where do we want? Let's do a market because our gold per turn is not fantastic right now. and. Our happiness is okay, so let's grab this settler, put him down. No, we don't want to go in the water, that's dangerous. Uh, let's go to right there for now. Okay, this crossbowman, uh, for now, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to light that area up. <laughs> so let's head over there. 
I don't know why it always selects the second one when it knows we have to move that one first in our little convoy, but whatever. Uh, you're going to move to that tile, and you're going to stay there. So that worked out pretty well. Um, there's that ship again. Let's let's see if we can capture him. Oh, there's two. So we didn't quite sink that. So hopefully next turn we can try that out. All right, we've got our swordsman here. Let's move you over there. And that's as far as we can go, because the rest is considered deep ocean, so let's head back to base. Um, these guys, we really want to build a road. Um, like I said, over to this road, but if we do a Route 2, it's just going to sweep around like that, so I'm going to do a Route 2, but I'm only going to do it to right here. That way they'll you know, build those three spaces, then stop, then we'll have to kind of build it manually. Just saves us a little bit of time. Alright, you guys can just stay there for now, because I don't want anything jumping these guys from behind. Uh, this missionary, go ahead and spread religion. Oh yeah, so now they're definitely Catholic. Uh, before, they were just kind of wavering. Um, now they're, they're full on. So, next turn. Who needs orders? You guys? Go ahead over there. Okay, now next turn. I think one thing is we need to start focusing on gold and... You really Die. want those truffles. I don't want his iron, though. What else does he have? Nothing, really. Hmm. Does she not examine? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. Okay. Alright, you construct a road. And that'll connect our city. Once again, picks the wrong unit. We're almost there with all these settlers. Go ahead and move there. Where did those ships go? There they are. Now there's three of them. Let's go after this one first. Oh, hey, and we got it. Okay. That's interesting. But it keeps the pirate flag logo. That's, that's kind of cool. Okay. You guys... Um, go ahead and go back to base. Oh, hey, this guy. Apparently. Okay, there's no way to really automate him. So, he spread his religion already. Hmm. <laughs> Majority religion for the city will be Catholicism. Um, let's go to one of our cities and see what happens. There we go. So now we've got more Catholicism going on. L let's look at the uh, religion overview and see what that actually does. Hmm. 
I don't know what Inquisitor does, to be honest. Uh, unless maybe Inquisitors, uh, you know, get rid of other faiths. Well, let's take a look. Let's go to the help. Oop, that is not the help screen. This is the help screen. So, let's see. Religion. Um... Units? Not gonna have units there. How about... No? Not gonna do a search? Um... Search? Alright, let's just look under units. Inquisitor, there we go. I like how it's taking turns behind what I'm looking at. That's really, really stupid. Um, but yeah, that's what the Inquisitor does. So, uh, that might actually be a good thing. Huh. So, I'm pretty sure we could take that ship, but first we need to take this ship. So, let's see. Can we do it? Yeah, we can. And we get another ship. So this is actually a pretty decent way to build a navy. Um, yeah, I just really wish... I mean, nothing terrible happened, but... Um, I really wish it wouldn't have been taking our turn behind the uh, help menu. That's kind of a terrible feature. Um, let's move this guy here. Keep this train going. Definitely going to need to get some workers uh, up here to improve these places, but I think the first step is, is getting this road done. Uh, are these guys? They're just friendly. They're not actually... Do they have any quests? Natural Wonder and a Great Musician. We don't have either of those, unfortunately. Can't help you out. But, let's see. Okay, for now, you stay there. Let's plan where this first city is going to go. I think, honestly, right where these guys are standing is an awesome place for a city. So the first one will probably go right there. Uh, and then we'll worry about the other ones. Uh, once they get down there. Hopefully I didn't bring too many settlers. I think we did need three. I'm, I'm hoping. Otherwise one of them completely just wasted all that time. Um, go ahead and... I guess alert there. You guys... Can go ahead and just keep patrolling. Actually, go up here. Okay, it's still saying build a city there. I agree for once that we should build a city there. Um, these guys can fall back a little bit. And we'll next turn. Maybe. Unless a unit needs orders. Um, yeah, go over there. Now we're next turn. Oh, okay, so then that other guy is over here because we traded embassies with him, so now we can see it. Uh, I'm going to keep going this way. Um, this guy, I'm going to try to have him take this ship. That, that ability is amazing. Um, 
Could you imagine that with like battleships or something in the, in the modern ages? That would just be fantastic. Um, but yeah, so now we've got our navy is essentially what tripled in size. So that that's pretty awesome. Um, let's see, what do we want here? I wouldn't mind a market. Uh, especially with how much gold they're producing so let's let's do a market um, I know we're gonna need more happiness when we build those cities so I, I want to kind of keep that on the back burner but I'm hoping that our religious buildings will be enough to take care of that um, yeah let's build a temple here because temples also get us gold because of our religion so Go ahead and fish that. They finished the monument here. Probably need to get them a granary to keep them growing. Okay, this city's now hooked up. And what do we want for now? Huh. That's a tough call. Um. I mean, we could get more production out of this, but we really need food. So, because you can see they're already stagnant here. But go ahead, build production, why not? You guys can just alert you. Get down there, build that city. See, now I feel like we have too many military units. So it's kind of a... We needed a bunch, <laughs> and now we have too many. Um, you guys go ahead and move to there. You go ahead and move there. And there. Soon our settler convoy will be coming to an end. Um, I'm going to have you fall back to there. And you just wait. And we need to get these ships back to our territory to heal. That is that is a definite. So I'm going to start falling back. Okay. Um, yeah. Now that city's connected. Good. That was the city on the coast here. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. We did manage to get a lot accomplished. We've got our Navy uh, pretty well situated. Um, so next episode, I think we're going to try to focus a little bit on the happiness level that we know is going to drop. And uh, we'll just go from there. So I'll see you guys next time.